Medvedev announced the dire conditions of the Russian peace formula for Ukraine. Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev has laid out the details of the so-called Russian peace formula which would require the capitulation of Ukraine, payment of all due compensations to Russia and adoption of an act on the reunification of the former territories of Ukraine with the Russian Federation in return for Russia ending hostilities. Medvedev stated that to achieve so-called consensus with the international community, Ukraine must declare complete and unconditional surrender, conduct demilitarization, dismiss all constitutional authorities and immediately hold elections for a temporary parliament. He also claimed that Western countries recognize the Kyiv political regime as a Nazi junta and that there was a need to conduct a forced denazification program encompassing all authorities under United Nations supervision. In addition, the Provisional Parliament of Ukraine will have to adopt a law establishing a procedure for compensation for damage caused to regions of Russia as well as injured citizens and families of dead Russians. In addition, one of the conditions of peace in Ukraine will be the loss of its global legal personality and a ban on joining military alliances without the consent of the Russian Federation. Medvedev also proposed that Ukraine admit defeat in the conflict and surrender unconditionally. The final points of this formula imply the recognition of the entire territory of Ukraine as the territory of Russia and the adoption of the Act of Reunification with the Russian Federation as well as the recognition of this Act at the United Nations. This could be Russia's mild peace formula. It's a compromise, right? I think that based on it, we can seek a benevolent consensus with the international community, including the Anglo-Saxon world, to conduct productive summits, counting on the mutual understanding of our close friends, the Western partners, he finally stated.